Hello and welcome back. So last time we made the map limits so that our ship or enemy ships couldn't go outside the map. And in this lecture we will be developing shooting. So let's go ahead and create a new folder called models. And in this fol folder I will import a new asset and I'll just go ahead and... Uh, let me just find my Space Invader Voxel enemies friendly bullet dot obj and let me import the friendly bullet png okay now if we drop this bullet into the scene it's gigantic we don't want that we want it to be scaled down this is also pretty big let's just position it to zero 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 okay this is actually pretty nice. So the player will be shooting these bullets. So on the bullet now, let's go ahead and add a box collider. Let's just make sure that the collider is set up properly. Okay, the size is good. The position on the Z, let's move that. Okay, like that. And let's increase the size on the Y. And let's now just move it on the y-axis and that should be pretty good. Okay. I think that's good enough. And now you can see here we have these tags and currently this object is untagged. Let's go ahead and click on this and add a new tag I will call this tag friendly bullet and let's go back to our game object and set the tag to be friendly bullet. We'll be using this to check if this bullet hit any enemies, if it didn't, if it did we want to destroy those enemies. We need these tags because if each bullet was tagged the same then we'd have enemies killing each other and that will make the game very easy and we don't want that and let's just add a rigid body and disable the gravity and I believe that's it for now let's go ahead and create a prefabs folder open that folder and drag this bullet down into the prefabs folder and now we have a prefab of this bullet called tagged friendly bullet and has a box clutter and a trigger and I can now remove the friendly bullet from the scene but I'm going to create now a cube Okay, and I want it to put, I want to position it here above the ship like this. Let me just resize it. Okay. Okay, good. Mm, I will call this cube shoot position one. And now I will actually copy it and paste it to the left, and copy and paste it to the right. Shoot position left I will call the left one and uh, the right one I will call shoot position right. Let's now select all of these and drag them into the player and now they are the children of the player and if we move our ship you will see these cubes are moving with us. So th that's where we will be spawning our bullets from but we don't want that these positions to be visible so let's just remove the mesh filter from these objects there we go and we also want to remove the box colliders, we don't want this to collide with anything. Okay, let's now go ahead and open the player script. And in here I will say public game object bullet. This is where we will be putting our bullet in. And now we need references to our shooting positions. So let's go ahead and create a public transform. Position 1, I will call the first one. Position L as in left and position right as in pause right as in position position right. Let's save this and go back now into Unity. Select our character. Now we have the bullet game object. Let's drag and drop our prefab into this spot. And now let's get the shooting position 1 and put it in position 1 position left put in position left and position right put it in position right 
Oops. Uh, now I want to... First off, when the game starts, you'll be able to shoot from the center, so when you have no power-ups. But as soon as you pick up a power-up, you'll be able to shoot from the left and the right one at the same time. And then when you pick up another power-up, you'll be able to shoot from all three at the same time. So let's go ahead and say, create a integer called power. And when the game starts, I will, I will create a void start method and set the power to be equal to one. And now in our movement method, actually let's get, let's get a new method for shooting, call it void shooting. So let's get the if check if input dot get key down. So when we press a key, and I want this to be key code space. So when I press space, I want to shoot. And now we want to check if. Actually, let's, let's do a switch statement. Let's say switch. And we switch on power. Case one. We want to. Oops, we want to do the following. Let's just break this. So each switch, we, we spoke about the switch statement. After each case, we need to break. Let me just get a default case going on. And break. Okay, so case one, when your power is one, I want to shoot from the center. So it's going to be game object new bullet equals instantiate and I, I believe it's called okay position we want to instantiate the bullet at position one dot position and let's just get the normal rotation and now that we have created the bullet we want to add some kind of force so let's say new bullet dot get component we want to get the rigid body component and let's add a velocity to be hmm, a new vector tree and let's get up let's get a public float shot power in here So now, when we shoot, we want this to be moving up, so that's on the x-axis, so let's go ahead and say shot power, actually, vector tree dot up, vector tree dot up times shot power, okay, that's for case one, case power two. Now this time we'll be we will be creating two bullets. So game object bullet one equals instantiate, and we instantiate the bullet on the position left dot position, and transform dot rotation, the standard rotation, and now we get. Let me just zoom out so you can see better. Now we need to get the bullet one rigid body. So get component rigid body. Now let's set its velocity to be equal to vector tree vector tree dot up times shot power, and let's let's go ahead and create the bullet two. Instantiate the bullet on position r dot position and transform that position. Oops, transform that rotation. And bullet two. Get component. Grab the rigid body. Set the velocity to be equal to vector tree dot up times shot power okay so that's in case this is in case we have power of two let's go ahead and now set it to power of three so game object now we want to create three bullets so we can just copy this code here okay and let's just add a third bullet This is going to be on the, how do we call it? Let me just check. Position one, that position. So position one, that position and transform that rotation. 
bullet tree, get component, rigid body, set the velocity of the rigid body to be equal to vector tree dot up times shot power. And now for the default case, what we want to do is just copy the case one statement. Okay. I forgot forgot to break after case three. There we go. Okay, so this is our shooting method. We can drop it down and call it in the update method right after movement. Okay. So let's go back into Unity. And now we should have a shot power. Let's set it to maybe 50. And if I move around, if I press space, you can see I'm shooting this bullet. And I like the movement speed of the bullet. You can see I'm shooting the bullet. And if I was to increase the, sh the power to maybe 2 in the script. And go back into Unity. Now you can see I'm shooting 2 bullets. And if I were to set the power to 3, I would be shoot shooting 3 bullets. Oops, let me just restart the game. You can see I'm shooting 3 bullets. But we don't want 3 bullets, we want 1. And later through power-ups we'll be getting more bullets and more well, shooting power. Okay, so that, that, that's that been it for this lecture. We'll continue in the next one. Thank you for watching and see you then.